hope all is well. I'm doing pretty good today. We got an interesting challenge to do. I'll put one of the commenters uh, comment on the uh, screen somewhere, but it was a really good one. This was in pertaining, this was pertaining to the percolators, how some odd reason a lot of people don't like the whole like using the coffee to like keep brewing the coffee. And to me, as long as the application works in this tasty cup of coffee, that's all I really care about. But the thing that he challenged me on was why don't you just boil the coffee and just see what happens? See if you like it. So that's what we're doing. So here's a here's a challenge. We're gonna do a 10 minute boil on the coffee. I use the exact same coffee, exact same temperature, but I just wanted to do two tests. And I think one of the tests is actually gonna be tasty. I haven't done this beforehand. So this is just my logic, just my thinking. So we got on my right side, your left side, I guess. We did a thousand grams, but we went ahead and did my traditional for 15 to one ratio. And that was about 70 grams of coffee. What we were left with was about 846 grams of actual brew weight. So what I ended up doing was I took 700 grams for both of the coffees, 700 grams. So that's the coffee that I'm going to boil. Then after I boil it, I'll weigh it again to see what we're working with. But at, at the end of the day, I'm going to get the TDS and actually taste the coffees. And then this specimen right here is just the regular coffee as it would be. I actually like drinking the coffee cold. So that'll be a good assessment. On the other side, I did a one to 20 ratio. So 50 grams of coffee in and a thousand grams of actual water. I did 30 second pulse, 200 grams. And I did theoretically about four equal pulses. Hario V60, here it is. I used the Chemex filters to make sure that I was able to get all the coffee on there. So that's what we're dealing with right now. So the first test that we're going to do is I'm gonna have my phone right here I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. OK. OK. So let's go ahead and do the 1 to 15 ratio first. So once that is finished with the 10 minutes, we'll go ahead and do it for the uh, other ratio. This is the 1 to 20 ratio. I actually honestly think that the 1 to 20 ratio is going to actually be pretty tasty. The reason why I'm saying that is because I believe that it's severely under extracted anyway at 1 to 20 ratio. The grind size, everything that was, that's all the same. That's all constant. So I think by boiling, boiling the coffee for 10 minutes, I think that's going to intensify the coffee just enough to the point to where it's actually going to be tasty. But we'll see. We're actually going to see. So I'm going to make sure that it's doing this thing right now. And then we can talk soon. Probably I may have to do it for longer than 10 minutes. The reason why I'm saying that is because it's not actually boiling the coffee right now. I'm going to leave it at four. And as soon as it starts to boil i think that's when i'll do the time okay so just bear with me everything is science and learning at the same time i try to make this as scientific and as accurate as i can but sometimes you get those times to where it just is what it is so let me go check on it real quick all right like i said it's a little change of plans so i started the timer as soon as it started to started to boil so now we're doing the 10 minutes right now at the same four so three four on my uh, stove top. So once the 10 minutes is over, we'll go ahead and get another weight. And then we're going to put a little bit on the side too to get the TDS of it. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing for the one to training ratio. I'm curious to see how everything works out. This is a lot of fun. Sometimes when, you know, when people pose questions, either just because it's always helpful to be like, okay, I never really thought about it that way. Let me try it out. And the beauty of this is that it's going to help everybody else out in some way, fashion or form. You may not do this anyway, just because you either like percolators or you don't, or even with the method that I'm doing actually right now, which is kind of weird. Again, the reason why I'm really curious about this is because I just care about taste and flavor. And for the most part, if it's brewed a certain way and it's tasty, that's all I really care about. But I do understand the whole aspect of the percolator, the way it works. But we all have our own different reasons of why we like coffee, the things that we care about in brewing our cup of coffee. So, okay, this is already starting to get interesting, okay? So now the 
or your weight of the one that we just literally borrowed, the one to 15 ratio is 518.5 grams. So we lost between evaporation and also it just reducing down close to 200 grams. And that's why I think, I, I'm sure this one to 15 is gonna be extremely bitter just because of it reducing down. Just think about it. When you make a sauce or something, and if you let it continue to cook with time, it's gonna get more concentrated. It's gonna be a lot less. And depending on how much you go, it can be really flavorful or it can be too strong. So let's just keep going, okay? So we're just gonna take a couple of samples so we can also get the TDS because I wanna see how strong it is. And then I'm going to also pull some coffee back so it can cool down a lot faster. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Love these type of challenges, really love them. Thanks for giving me the idea or logic. I don't know if you're gaslighting me a little bit, but it doesn't matter. We're learning and growing together. I probably won't learn shit on this, I don't know, but it doesn't matter, let's, let's continue it. But I'm liking the way that it's going right now, at least in the numbers, but we'll see in the taste, okay? Well, hopefully some of them are good. And I know more than likely some of them are gonna be shit. So we'll see. <laughs> point. So that one lost a little bit less um, water. I don't know, it could be just because of the concentration of the actual ratio, who knows? I did notice the water wasn't as bubbly as the other one, but whatever. I still left it at the four for the actual uh, reading on the uh, stovetop, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pour our coffee and then we're gonna go from there. Just realize it's still steaming, so that means that it's losing some of its uh, stuff too. So the first one we're going to taste is the one to 15 ratio and the one to 20 ratio. No, let's just do one to 15. Let's do one to 15 all of the tests because it's cooled down already. So we're gonna do the regular coffee, brewed coffee, the normal way that we would normally drink the coffee. Slight bitterness in it. But all in all, it tastes like what I'm accustomed to tasting with this coffee. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here's the meat and potatoes of the experiment. Okay. This is the bowl of coffee. Yeah, it's a little bit more bitter, but it's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I still highly suggest don't do this because you don't have to. If you're using a percolator, go ahead and do it because that's the way it kind of makes the coffee, right? But it's a little different though because the percolator uses the coffee that is slightly extracted and then it kind of keeps going. So I do understand there's a lot of diminishing return with the percolator, but it's not like it's brewing the same strength of coffee every time it percolates through the grounds again. So remember that, but let's go ahead and taste it again. Yeah, I'm tasting more like the acidity, astringent acidity coming out with this coffee right now. Brewed regularly, okay? So here we go again. Yeah, it's heavier. Seems like more concentrated, of course, because it's less amount of water or coffee. And it's still slightly uh, warmer. But again, not as crazy as I thought it would actually be. But it's it's still, there we go. Still tasting more so the bitter of the coffee. So I that, think that's what happens with this. Let's go ahead and get a TDS reading, okay? Of uh, both of the coffees. This is a part that I'm actually pretty curious about. Wow. <laughs> I guess I went too fine with this coffee. But again, this is science, okay? I guess that's why I was tasting that bitterness, so. 1.88 TDS, which is really, really high. I normally drink a coffee at 1 to 15 ratio, about 1.5, okay? So that's pretty high. That's too high. Okay, my biggest thing now is I'm trying to see what the, if boiling coffee actually increased the TDS, or in this case, the strength of the coffee, okay? So let's go ahead and get a reading. Okay, here we go. Wow. 
Oh, I love doing this stuff. Get it one more time. 2.5, 2.50 TDS. So that does make sense, right? Whenever we make, like I said, the, the, the experiment or the situation I mentioned about the whole like sauces and, and soups, if you reduce it down, that means it's gonna get a lot stronger. And for 10 minutes, that's, that's exactly what happened. 2.5 TDS, that's strong as fuck. So let me write that down so we can have this for later. Again, it's a lot easier once you have all those numbers, you can be like, oh yeah, this is the reason why. But I'm not gonna do that. That's why I like to do the uh, tasting first and then get the assessment second, and then we can see how it correlates or if it does or doesn't. So we're almost done. So I'm gonna clean my palate and we're going to go ahead and taste the coffees that are at the one to 20 ratio, okay? Here's our taste test. Okay. It's not as strong, actually it seems a little weak to me. But I am tasting the flavor of the coffee. Yeah, and that's one to 20, okay? And it's a lot cooler compared to what I'm about to taste. Here we go. Cheers. This is the one to 20 ratio boiled for 10 minutes. This is probably the best one. It's more approachable. I don't taste any bitterness of the coffee. I do taste the acidity coming through. Yeah, yeah, it works out really well. This is the best one. This is a one to 20 ratio, boiled for 10 minutes. A lot more tastier. There's no acidity on this coffee. There's no real bitterness. There's some acidity, no bitterness really in the, in the coffee. A lot more approachable compared to all the ones that we've tasted so far, okay? So the next thing that we're going to do right now to conclude this whole thing is we're gonna get the TDS reading. Okay, so we're gonna do the one to 20 ratio and just brew, just the brewed coffee, okay? 1.3. So that's 1.30 TDS. Okay. So that's probably just right at the level that you will like it to be. If I have to remember correctly, when it falls on the scale. So that one to eight reading on the actual grinder probably is ideal for this particular ratio. So we got 1.3 TDS, okay, 1.3 TDS. Now, let's see if we can get the TDS of the uh, boiled coffee at one to 20 ratio. <laughs> 1.62, 1.62, remember that, okay? So I'm just gonna write it down for now, 1.62. If I remember correctly, that's probably where it needs to be too. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We've tasted these coffees. I've given you my assessment and we already know for sure some of the things that we've learned about this whole thing is that if you actually boil the coffee, you're gonna over extract it or extract it a lot more compared to what the coffee was originally brewed, especially if you're just doing a regular pour over type of method with filters. That's the key too, because if you don't use filters, directly some of the sludge is still extracting the coffee and all that stuff. Again, a story for another day. So we know that if we actually boil the coffee, that you're gonna have an effect in the taste and the strength level. Boil the coffee for 10 minutes, does have an effect. Probably I can do a little bit less. It's the same game that you play around with the percolator because you can do five minutes, you can do 10 minutes, you can do 15, 20, whatever you wanna do. You can extract it whichever way that works for you. So what did, So those are the, some of the things that we did learn about this whole thing. I really did enjoy this, even though it took a long time to do, but it's all good because we're learning and growing and hopefully I'll get more comments about whatever. Things that I need to look at more, things that I probably didn't consider, which is perfectly fine. But I think I was as even as possible with the assessment of going about this. So. If you have any questions, let me know because this, again, this is fun. This is why I'm here. This is learning and growing together. And I wouldn't have never thought about doing anything like this if I didn't get a comment. So yeah, this is Oki at Everyday Being signing out. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.